Hello friends. Welcome to my tutorial world. Today we discuss about Diplomacy ET Mechanical Question Paper, 2015. 71. The voltage range in case of electro discharge machining is A. 25V to 380 volts. B. 50V to 380V. C. 75V to 380V. D. 100V to 380V. Answer is 50V to 380V. Seventy-two. An abrasive gem machining process, inside diameter of nozzle through which abrasive particle flow is about A. 10 mm B. 5 mm C. 1 mm D. 0.04 mm Answer is 0.04 millimeters. 73. In ultrasonic machining process, the water slurry concentrations vary between A. 50% to 60% by volume, B. 20% to 60% by volume, C. 30% to 80% by volume D 40% to 80% by volume Answer is 20% to 60% by volume 74 LBM stands for A Laser best method B. Light beam method C. Laser beam machining D. Light beam machining 75. Answer is Laser beam machining 75 the spark gap in electro discharge machining process normally varies from A. 0.005 mm to 0.50 mm, B. 0.05 mm to 0.005 mm, C. 0.01 mm to 0.001 mm. D. 0.001 mm to 0.1 mm. Answer is 0.005 mm to 0.50 mm. 76. Which of the following joining methods finds extensive applications in electronic industry? A. Gas welding B. Welding C. Resistance welding D. Soldering Answer is Soldering 77. A taper provided on the pattern for its easy and clean withdrawal from the mold is A. Machining allowance B. Draft allowance C. Shrinkage allowance D. Distortion allowance Answer is Draft allowance 
78. The process of pushing the heated billet or slug of metal through an orifice provided into a and forming an elongated part of uniform cross, section is known as a. Extrusion b. Forging c. Casting d. Piercing Answer is Extrusion seventy nine Metal patterns are used for A Small castings B Large castings C Complicated castings D Large scale production of castings Answer is Large scale production of castings. 80. The adhesiveness is the property of a scent due to which A. It evolves a great amount of steam and other gases. B. The sand grains stick together. C. It clings to the sides of a molding box. D. None of the above. Answer is. It clings to the sides of a molding box. 